Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I believe this is day six. We are to make a notepad or some kind of multi-paged thing. So I call it a notepad. So here's what I've done. I've grabbed a few things from my stash. One of those being the box from oatmeal that I had. I've got a painted paper that was made in one of my other tutorials that was left over. I have some junior legal notepad paper that I've trimmed down to the size I need. A calico collage image. I don't know which kit this came from. And then I have a book page that I had painted with some acrylic paint. So you kind of obscure the text underneath. I've got a stencil from the December Stencil Club. And I thought what we would do is do some stenciling right off the bat. So this is going to be the front of my notepad. I'm going to grab this half sheet stencil from the December 2020 notepad. Uh, stencil club and I've got the dusty Concord and a oval blending brush it was happened to be laying on my desk so I thought why not use it so I'm just coming in here and adding a little bit of a pattern all over so that just added a subtle pattern in the background I like that okay I also have this painted page so I'm going to unfold it I folded it in half and then I folded in the edges just a little bit because I plan to make this into a pocket and now I'm going to grab the stencil again and I think I think I'm going to use the more floral side of the pattern but I don't want to cover the whole thing I'll just put a little bit maybe up in the corners maybe down here on the edge so it's just a subtle little pattern. I like that. So I'm going to repeat it over here. Okay, I like that. So I've decorated those two pieces. I think now what I want to do is glue this shut. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. Glue that down. And then across here. And glue this down. I'm liking it so far and I think what I want to do is just go ahead and put glue right across the bottom so this will be a side load pocket page let's use my bone folder to help smooth this glue out okay I like that my paper over here all right I've got the Bella Rose stamp and I've got jet black archival ink and let's stamp this so here's where my pocket is right here I'm going to stamp this right here and then I'll flip it over and let's stamp it on this side. I like that. And then I've got this piece that's going to be on the outside of my oatmeal box. And this is going to go behind there, but I think I want a patterning all the way around. So I'm just going to take the Bella Rose stamp and stamp it all the way around, making a frame. And while I've got the Bella Rose stamp out, I'm just going to add some stamping to my little notepad pages. Kind of make it look like stationery. This is a great way to make a little gift to give to somebody that they could have a little notepad that they put in their journal or in their purse. Okay, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is glue this piece onto my oatmeal box. I'm just going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. And go around this outside edge and glue down the middle again this was a page that i sprayed with tattered angels glimmer mist to get this color i've got several tutorials that show that i'll go around the edges with some distress ink and then this piece is going to go right in the center i think that'll look good on there actually i want to make a change i'm looking at this i happen to have a couple of pieces of sheet music left over on my desk i think that would look good just a little collage corner there so i'll put a little glue on this piece okay now i like that better so i'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down i have this stamp gather your dreams and i've got this book page so what i'm going to do is stamp it over the text and see what it looks like see if i like that look yeah, it looks it looks okay. Let me see if I like that. No, I don't like it. It it blends in too well. So you know, sometimes ideas don't always work. 
I have another piece of this oatmeal box and it's white. So let's see what it looks like if I stamp that. I think that will be better and I'll just rip around. Well, I stuck my thumb in the wet ink, so I gotta do it again and then I gotta dry it. I always forget that with archival ink, it's not set until it's dry. So if you're in a hurry, don't stick your thumb in it and I'm gonna use my heat tool to dry it. Now we're gonna rip this out. That would look good down here. So let's add some distress inks to the edges kind of toning down that white just a little bit. And I think now what I could do is if I have another piece of this purple, we could do, nope, it's just not dark enough. So I've got here, I've got another spray. This was Deep Purple Vibe. So I'm just gonna come in here and spray over that and dry it. It'll make it darker. If you don't like the color of a piece of paper, you can change it. So now if I put this, that pops just a little bit better. It kind of covers up. So let's put it up here. Yep, I think I like it up there with a little bit of the other peeking out behind it. I do plan to put something else up here so I don't want to go all the way to the top. So I'm going to glue this together. Okay, so now I have this piece as well as my junior legal notepad pieces. So I'm gonna stack all these up and match them to the top portion of my card here, just kind of centering them. Let me grab a paper clip too to help hold these in place. And I've got a scrap of fabric, so I'm gonna cut it the width of my notepad and then I'm going to apply glue right across here and glue this down right across the top and then I'll fold it over to the other side and glue it down. I'm going to give it just a moment to dry and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right across the top here and that will get all those pages stuck together so we have our little notepad. So let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, so I'm over at my sewing machine. I have a regular sewing needle. I have regular sewing thread. I'm setting it up as a zigzag stitch and I'm just going to stitch right across the top here. Just stitched across the top. I'll remove the paper clips and now I have this little notepad that's kind of decorative on one side that you can write a little note and you can flip it over and we've got this little pocket page right here that we can put things in and it flips up and then you have these other pages and then we have the back page and I didn't put distress ink so I'm going to add some and I think let's go ahead and stamp in this corner. So I'll get the same Bella Rose stamp and I'll stamp that right here in the corner. So it kind of brings it all together. So we have the Bella Rose stamp there, we have it on here. And you could do more pages if you want. I just did about four. So that would be a nice little notepad that you can tuck into a journal. You could give it as a gift to someone so that they have some writing space. It could tuck in some other notes or receipts inside there if you carry it around with you. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial for the sixth day of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas that's put on by the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Do check out the group in the description box down below will be links to the group as well as the other artists that have created little notepads. If you have any questions please feel free to ask and again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel. Come back on Monday at 3 45 p.m. Central Standard Time when I make a journal. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye everybody!